During this holiday weekend, it is a time to reflect on all we have to be thankful for. And for one Orem family, they are grateful for what they call their Thanksgiving miracle. Kathy Aiken now with the story. So with the family, there's some crazy people. Casey Felberg has always been the life of the party. All of his nieces and nephews, and he has many, call him Funkle Casey because he's their fun uncle. The uncle who was once BYU's Cosmo, the one who was always up for the biggest adventures, the one who always went all out. He's always the one having the most fun at every family gathering, the one doing the stuff that nobody else can do. That's likely to change. Hey, Casey. Can you open your eyes? Casey's life changed drastically on February 27th when he and several friends went snowboarding in Park City. After a few warm-up jumps, Casey went first. The landing was nearly fatal. He had his helmet on, but the helmet didn't really help because he took a toe side edge and went right face down on the side of his face and his cheek. It's kind of like uh, shaken baby syndrome. His brain had ricocheted inside of his skull, and so they call it a severe traumatic brain injury, not just a traumatic brain injury. For nearly three weeks, Casey remained in a coma at the University of Utah Hospital. Bring your arms up. That's the way. Once he awoke, his family up. says Good his job. progress hey, was nothing short of a miracle. But this is a huge victory today that they've got him kneeling. From kneeling to brushing his teeth to putting on his socks. Voila! <laughs> Casey spent a total of four months in the hospital. Since then, he's been receiving regular physical, occupational, and speech therapy. <clears throat> he also goes with his father to the gym nearly every day. Good job. The 31-year-old still tries hard, whether it's raking leaves in the yard or helping set a Thanksgiving table. His biggest frustration? Yeah, my body won't match my mental abilities. Whether his body will ever match his mental abilities is still uncertain. Doctors believe he could recover to be a full, independent, active adult, though they don't know if he'll return to the Casey of old. This looks good. But as the Felberg family celebrates this Thanksgiving holiday, they know they have so much to be grateful for. And Casey may be the most thankful of all. I would like to see so. My thought this year has been to send out Thanksgiving cards instead of Christmas cards. We have so very much to be grateful for. Okay, Casey, are you ready to go again? Kathy Aiken, KSL 5 News.